we have 10 gas questions on pipework that every gas engineer should know. So let's get on with it and don't forget to put your score down in the comments below. Question number one, what is the maximum pipe size a domestic gas engineer can work on? Any ideas? Well, for copper pipe, it's 35 millimetres and for steel pipe, it's an inch and a quarter. Question number two, 22 millimetre copper pipe must be supported horizontally every any ideas? It's two metres. Question number three. Equal potential bonding is fitted no more than millimetres from the metre. Did you guess? 600 millimetres? Question number four. Where a gas pipe is installed in a duct, the duct must be... Hopefully you've said, ventilated at both ends. Halfway, question number five. What is a maximum permissible pressure loss along pipework installations? So hopefully none of you are saying, oh, he hasn't told us what the meter is or the size of the pipework. Because that's not the question, because the question is one millibar. Anyway, how have you done so far on the first five? Let's have a look at question six. Question number six. When testing 35 millimeter pipe on a G10 gas meter on old pipework with no smell of gas, what is the permissible pressure drop? Well, hopefully you said or millibar. Let's try question seven. Question number seven. What is the minimum purge volume on a G4 gas meter with 22 millimeter copper pipe? Any ideas? Well, hopefully you said 0 0.01 meters cubed. Let's try question eight. Question number eight. When purging installations including 35 millimeter copper pipe, the installation volume is times by to get the purge volume. Did you say 1.5? Let's try question number nine. 